What's going on guys, we do go here today and we've got the FIFA team of the season or the FIFA community team of the season. But you're wondering what is this? And you see Begovic on the screen, you're thinking that you don't deserve team of the season. This is what the most common favourites on FIFA is and my favourites on FIFA mixed together to make a team of the season. Starting off in goal, it's the man I love. I did make a video on him and it and Begovic. Now I I I love this guy on FIFA, he saved me so many times. He deserve a team season if it comes down to FIFA community. If any of you guys disagree with this, leave your answers in the comments and I'll change anyone, but you can't change Gregorich because I know he's not like a fan favourite, but he's my favourite and that's kind of as well what we're going on. Moving on to the right back now and it's Kyle Walker. Now, I don't really use him. I do actually prefer Zabalab, but he's an absolute favourite for people due to just that pace. And if you did get a team this season, it would look like this. But he's a very common in the BPL team. Not the highest rated, but he's really common. Um, if he did go down to a silver next year, which he could do, he would probably become one of the most expensive silvers on the game if there was no price ranges. So he's actually quite expensive at 77 rated. Moving on to centre max now. It is a newer hat. Now, this guy's in it simply for pace. A lot of pacey um, BPL teams will have this guy in. And they're right to, to be fair. He's actually really good on the game. I use him. He's like a fan favourite and my favourite. We've kind of gone mixed there. The person is partner in crime, Subatic. Now, I've never used him, but loads of people say he's absolutely amazing on the game. And he has got 71 pace or something like that. Him and Socrates, it was out of them too. Everyone likes some one of them. Apparently, both of them are really good. But I've gone with Subatic because I think. I have used Socrates and I didn't like him, so he couldn't be much worse. But anyway, moving on to left back, Armero. Another guy who I haven't used or was going to use, I had him in plans for squads, but I didn't actually use him, it's Armero. The first silver one in the video, he he's just pace, simply again. Last year he was in the back of his Premier League at West Ham, I think, and a lot of people used him then. And now he's at Syria, he's in quite a lot of Syria squads. but. A lot of people like full gold squads, that's why they don't go for him. So that's why silvers aren't as big in this video. But he's still a fan favourite. Centre mid, Leroy Fur is a fan favourite and my favourite. We've gone for another mixed one. Leroy Fur is absolutely class when you use him. Trust me, if you've never used him, I recommend using him. He's one of the best players I've used. He can shoot from anywhere and score. He's strong, he's quite pacey. I do have a QPR squad if you have watched other my videos of CT. So I do like QPR and obviously I have Fur and the new one in there. And again, I like them both, but Fur is actually the best in that team without a doubt. Joining him in midfield is a my favourite. I used to have Sal in the sweaty team. His defence lets him down when you play him centre mid, but that pace is what I love about him. The pace and the fact that he's actually he's got insane dribbling. Triple pass players all the time. He's one of my favourite players to use in the game. And if you just want you should go out and use some of these players. If you disagree about using the players then and tone until you use them, and then I understand, unless again it's Begovic, as he's my favourite on the game. Now, joining him for the final centre mid is Yaya Torre. He's a fan favourite and my favourite again. I mean, I didn't really like him when I first got him in my team. I thought he wasn't good, he was overrated on the game. But I've now grew to love him. He's scoring insane long shots, I mean, he's very strong. He's great in defence. I play him at centre mid as well. He's insane in defence. He's actually quite fast for a centre mid as well. And he can dribble. And a lot of people do like him as well for passing. I don't really use him to pass that much. I run with him. But I've heard reviews of him saying that he's an absolute mastermind when it comes to passing. So, um, if you do like him passing, then you like him passing. Um, moving on to the front three. I could not do a FIFA community team this season. Without Ibarbo, of course Ibarbo was going to be in there. He is one of the most common players on FIFA. He's in sweaty squads of hybrids, he's in Colombia squads, he's in Serie A squads, he's in everything. And if he had a team season, imagine that 94 pace, that card does actually look pretty insane. He's pacey and he's, it's just basically pace that people use him for. He's an absolute tank on the game and I've used him. He's a fan favourite and my favourite. I prefer him as a striker though, but. It's up to you what you prefer, but I, I prefer him as a striker, anyway. But I don't know, you, leave in the comments as well what you prefer him as. <laughs> and I'm um, sorry for the little skip there, I just need one to go get my charger. But yeah, Victor Ibarra. Moving on to the left wing, or left forward now. 
Nanny, I've never used him for this FIFA. Once again, I have plans to use him, but apparently he's really good. A lot of people use him for skill and pace, but apparently he is really good to use, and he's an all-round great player. Them stats are all around good. I mean, the physical will probably let him down, but he doesn't look too bad with physical. I mean, the defence you don't really care about on the left forward or left wing or something. So I'm not sure. You guys like him. You like him. But, as you know, going on to striker, it's Ronaldo. Now, he this is based on his 97 card, not his team of the year, because most people prefer him to that 97 to his team of the year, because he's a striker. So I put him at striker for the fans' favour. I did pack his striker card. Didn't actually use it, that's something I do regret, so you guys can lend me one, that would actually be insane, and I'll give you a shout out on Twitter and everything, but 98 Ronaldo, well 7 it would be, is also a fan favourite just simply for everything, and his pace, his shot, his passing, his physical, his dribbling, he defence he don't really use, he's also an absolute tank on the game, and uh, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, wow, so that's the start in 11, so now We'll just get onto the bench and the reserves. These are some of the favourites. Patois, I hated him. He's a fan favourite because I hated him, but loads of people use him and seem to think he's good. They like him because he's got great reflexes. And uh, he's actually got quite decent speed for a keeper, and a lot of people say that's why they like to use him. Now, the first bronze player of the game, and it's not the last, it's Win. This right back, which most people prefer him as a centre back, would have. He has about 93 pace, I think, and the centre back will right, but that's actually incredible. And people use him in bronze sweaty squads or American teams. Now, he would again be absolute tank to have. Opara. Don't really hear people speak about him because he's extinct. I've never used him, but I'll put him in here because his card looked insane. When he got an informed card, Jesus Christ, that card looked insane. And if he, if he does get a team in the season, because he could in the rest of the world, and the MLS team in the season comes out. Which is later on in the season. I think I would splash. I'd, I'd spend every single penny I've ever earned just to pack him because his card would look a bit something like this: 90 pace, 85 physical, 78 8 defending. That would. You know, my bank account would be empty by the end until I pack him. Uh, but he's also not really a fan favorite or my favorite. He's just a general top player. Now this said about Benatia. He was the first high-rated player I packed on this game. I did a live pack opening on Twitch the first time I got FIFA, um, and Bonatti was the first player I packed. He only went 13k, but I was quite happy with that start game. I never really used him, but a lot of people have used him say he's great for the pace, the defence, and the physical. Them three things you really want in the centre back, and say he's basically the perfect centre back. Moving on to the left back, which is not a fan favourite, he's an, it's my favourite. He's in a lot of Premier League squads. But no one really says anything about him, but no one really appreciates him, but I think he's absolute class. He basically catch up to anyone. He's actually great at tackling and defending. He's quite strong, but I think he's a perfect left back on the game. I mean, you guys have him in Prem squads quite a lot, but no one really mentions him a lot. I mean, you see him in the squad, you think, oh, it's the average Felipe Luis, but I think he's class, and I think he should be appreciated on this game. Moving on to the next place, Oxford Chamberlain. It's another one of my favourite. If you did watch my 20k... Sweaty Squad, which is currently my most viewed video, so a lot of you guys probably have. I did say how I loved him. He, he's I've used that team still quite a lot, but I still think he's absolute class. I mean, Oxlade Chamber brilliant to use in the game. I mean, the pace, the shot, the dribbling, the physical, the passing, everything. He can cause a lot of damage tackling wise as well. I think he's an absolute perfect player. I prefer him to a Barbo as well, but you know. Now it's Goethe, which is a fan favourite and my favourite. Again, both. I think he's amazing to use. Apparently his informed card, which I never use, is also brilliant, but I'm not quite sure about that. Can you guys tell me if you think it's any good? Uh, it probably will be if his normal card is. And his stats as well. I don't know if you know on his inform. All end in 0 or 5, except dribbling. He has 91 dribbling. He has 80 pace, 80 shot, 85 passing, 65 physical, 40 defending. 91 dribbling and um, that card again does look amazing to use I'd love to use it also now another player in the game which is really expensive who I did pack I'm not even sure I packed so much players I'm not sure if I packed him I might have packed him but um Ribri it's a fan favourite I haven't used him myself to be quite fair because uh I just haven't really thought about Bundesliga teams I did have one but I had Royce um apparently he's really good to use because his dribbling pace is good Shot does let him down, he hasn't really got a great shot. 
Uh, his passing's good, but no one really mentions that. It's all about the pace and the skill moves, because he's really skillful as well. Now, coming on to some strikers. The remaining three. Four. Uh, Remy. Fan favourite and my favourite. I've got him on the bench to Aguero. Sometimes I bring him on in case something's happened, because his pace is amazing. His shot's good. His dribbling lets him down, I think. I think his physical's alright too, but I think if he had better dribbling, he'd be one of the best players you could ever use on this game. Because he is... He is good to use. Uh, moving on to another one, it's MNEK. A massive fuss about him when the game started. He has really died off as FIFA's come along, but uh, it's really more sort of my favourite to fan favourite. He isn't used as much. I'll kind of class it both, but he's more of a my favourite because I think he's absolutely amazing. He, he's so strong, so pacey, and his shots insane. His dribbling lets him down, but I love MNEK on this game. I think he's absolute tank as well. He's a tank, that's one word to describe him. It's hard to fit into teams. I mean, Fenerbahce and Nigeria, they're not perfect. A lot of people do build the teams because obviously you've got Denver Bar in that league. But, you know, I think Emanik is actually a great player. And it's up to you guys what you think, but if you agree, then smash the like button. Now, Akin Fenwa. He's only in this team because he's not even good to use, to be fair. He's a fan favourite because I don't think I've ever used him. I might have used him once or twice. He in there because everyone buys him just for a joke, which does make him a favourite. I mean, but one thing is he's got 99 strength. That's one thing, yeah. And his physical, his physical's a bit short considering he's the strongest player in the game. He ain't got pace, he ain't got shot, he can't pass, he can't dribble, he can't defend, and his physical's not great. His strength is what? I think his strength's amazing, that's it. But he's a fan favourite because people do use him. And now the last player. Oh, no, it ends. Because I accidentally put him in there twice without a team. The season card. So this is what the team looks like. It had um 86 rated, 66 chemistry. Um obviously this is the bench. Well, you know, got that flu that we just catch you And I hope you enjoyed. If you want any more of these squad builders, just let me know. And if you want any sort of videos, you know you can just leave in the comments and I'll let you know. Go and build this team if you want, if you think this is the most favourite team. I mean, it doesn't have full chem. You can change maybe some plays around, try to get the mess around with the chemistry. You know, try to get the chem up, I don't know. Uh... Do you know what? There we go. Okay, I failed at that, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, leave a subscribe if you're new. Get the word out about this channel, and I'll see you in the next video.